It's weird that they put handles on saws. <laughs> Why would they do that? That's just silly. Hi there. We're Matt and Stacy. We recently bought an off-grid property in beautiful West Virginia. We've been busy making this property our own little slice of paradise, adding in a few modern conveniences, having fun learning all of the construction trades, and converting a pole barn into our future home. This channel is about my passion for painting with a torch and wax, and about our passion for adventure and taking risks. Consider subscribing and join this creative community. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video. Happy Saturday, all. Now, I know I said we probably wouldn't be doing a Barn Dominium video for a few weeks, but an exciting piece came in and we picked it up the other day. And so we're here in the Barn Dominium doing a small Barn Dominium project. And here it is. A large box. Can't wait to open it. So exciting. So I know a few videos back we mentioned getting a new piece for underneath the TV and that is what that is for. So we rearranged the firewood over to there. We have to fill it back up with firewood. But now we're going to move this stuff out of the way. Brought in the muscle. <laughs> it's a good thing we have a small space. We don't have to move it too far at least. Careful with that cargo there. That's precious right there. Well, the nice thing about not having too much stuff is it doesn't take too long to move it out of the way. My muscles. back into the table. Well, never know what's going to happen here. <laughs> Wild recording. Well done. Well done. And now that we have everything cleared up, let's get to opening this box. Well, you can't say they didn't put enough wrapping around it. Packaged quite nicely, really. Ooh. That's cool. Yeah, looks nice. Kind of how I remember it. <laughs> it's been a little while since we ordered it. Okay. Looks especially nice right in front of the camper. Wait till you see the front. I mean, this is this is fancy enough, but yeah. <laughs> that'll, that'll look nice. Well, looks like we measured correctly. Fits in there perfectly. Now we just have to do something with all those cords, get these put back away, you know, all that fun stuff. Quick project. You forgot all the electrical. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we got it a little bit big because one more storage and two the other option was like four feet which really shrunk it down a lot we're a little over the windows but it fits good i like it more yeah. storage is much needed at this point sorry about the lighting in here too it's a little orange but you know it's very cloudy out and it's what you got today but i think it's, it fits it's good warm and nice it's it is. It's cozy, but yeah. it just might not come across great on camera. That's all. Looks good. And just like that, the electronics devices are all set up. And yes, we still have a very outdated Wii and DVDs. But guess what? <laughs> we love them and still use them. So it's a good place to put them inside the cabinet here. That don't work so well, does it? <laughs> you gotta stack like a baby if it's gonna go in like a bee, I guess. Uh, 
All right, all. We got a fire going. And bum, 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 bum. Cabinet is set up. I think it looks really good. I'll back up and get you a couple videos of the overall space because it looks really nice. We um, do still have a bit of a mess going on here, but um, this is going upstairs. That's the next project. I just had to share one more thing about this cabinet. Out of that whole big piece of furniture, this is the only small bundle that's going in the trash. The rest was cardboard and anything that could be recycled. So A plus for this company for not using a bunch of styrofoam and things that had to go to the dump. Oh, no problem. Look at that. Yeah. Careful. No Careful. The beauty of these, you just tip it over here. Right. Also, nice not to have railings. See, guys, no railings. Easy peasy. Stay tuned, though. They're coming very soon. Hint, hint. <laughs> See? Instant railing. No need for railings. Insert comments there. <laughs> Who thinks we need a railing? Or we just use furniture? Furniture's good. This, however, has to get moved now, and we're thinking it gets moved to where that bench is. So, guess what? That bench is going back down stairs to hopefully right there. It's perfect. We need a place to put our shoes on. I know, right? It's a good idea. Theoretically. And yes, we still have twinkly lights on the camper because it's just pretty and we can't get rid of them. Dear. Yep, the bench is down here. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it fits. Well, good. It was a bit harder to get down here than that 10 second time lapse you saw, but not too bad. And yeah, it fits. All right, don't mind the random pile of wood and the unfinished wall, but I think that cedar chest is going to sit quite nicely there and once we get that random pile of wood moved we'll be able to walk by there so and the railing don't forget the railing <laughs> right eventually we'll have a railing and that tall cabinet also won't be there i don't know if we'll get to finishing this wall in this video maybe we will we'll see all right we're gonna leave you here for today we will pick you up in a few days See you then. All right, all, good morning. We have decided, we were initially going to take the day off today, but we've decided we're gonna tackle that half wall instead. And um, Matt had to crawl underneath the camper to dig out the barn wood, because we initially thought about doing shiplap on there, but I think it's gonna look really nice with the barn wood, because you're gonna also be able to see it from downstairs, so it's gonna be like kind of like a nice little exit wall if you will so <laughs> we got the barn wood out from underneath the camper we're pretty sure we have enough and i think the next plan is to get to measuring and cutting
are running a bit short on the actual barn wood. So we're gonna take a couple pine boards that we initially had holding the barn doors together way back in the Ohio studio. And we're just gonna rough them up. They already have some kind of divots and holes in them from where the um, nuts and washers were. So we're just gonna rough them up and then put a coat of stain on them and kind of make fake old looking wood, if you will. gave those boards a couple hours to dry that we stained and now we're just gonna lay this out real quick the barn wood along with those couple stained pieces see how it looks and then hopefully just quickly glue and nail them to the wall yeah actually I mm -hmm. that that's go. good keep rearranging but I think this layout's going to work. I think we're going to go with it. afternoon we kind of abruptly you abruptly left you on this half wall here and that is because it started snowing heavily but I don't know if you can see that big bright white yellow light out there but the sun is out to this afternoon and so we're gonna rip up rip down this last top piece of barn wood and finish this wall off well in true Matt and Stacy fashion, we realized we did not want to close off this wall. We were actually going to leave the entire wall open for a specific reason, and that is the railing. Let me flip the camera around and show you, but we obviously did not end up putting that piece of board that we ripped down up there. It is cut and ready to go, so whenever we put the railing up, we will you know, be adding that to there and finishing that wall off. But let me flip the camera around and show you why we shouldn't have covered up the rest of it. All right, so there's a post right there and that post is eventually going to be all the way up top here. That's just a visual reference for you all. But basically we're gonna have a railing running all along there. Eventually, yes, we're putting up railings. <laughs> where the stairs are and the, the railing is going to be going into this post, this direction. So we wanted that wall open because, because we could take and screw into right there if all of these boards were open. <laughs> However, we kind of messed that up by nailing and gluing these on. So instead, we're still, we still are going to anchor the post in the bottom. We're just gonna get longer screws and maybe angle them in, we'll figure it out. But we are going to leave this top open for right now till we get the railing in so we can get the drill in there and screw into it. So. All right, all, so here is where I'm going to leave you for this video, sitting in front of the toasty warm fireplace back here. The new cabinet is installed, 
And yeah, I hope you did enjoy it, coming along and watching us rearrange some furniture and building somewhat of that half wall. It's almost done. It'll get there. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It truly, truly does help us out. If you're not subscribed, consider doing so. And yeah, thanks so very much for watching. More Barn Dominium videos coming your way. I think the next one might be us installing the railing, which is probably going to be <laughs> involving quite a lot of math and hopefully very entertaining. So at any rate, in the meantime, though, probably painting videos are going to be next. So anyways, I'm going to let you go here. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>